Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today I actually got some access into 2.1. Uh, no, I didn't actually get access to uh, the PTU, however, I've got some good friends that are willing to share their login information with me. So today, the first thing that I wanted to do was actually um, showcase the changes to the Vanguard uh, that's now in Hangar, or that's been in Hangar. Uh, there's been a few updates to it that I think are worth pointing out just so you can get a better look at it. Um, and first off, you can take a look and notice that the cockpit now has changed. It's no longer sharing the basically the same assets that the Retaliator had. Uh, we'll get another look at this on the inside, but you can see it definitely fits the ship a little bit better and kind of has the right look to it. Uh, in addition, we now also have the missiles uh, located on the uh, belly of the ship. There's some there with some more there. Let me get out of here before I get stuck come back to the end of the ship and let's go ahead and go inside where most of the updates have actually taken place. Uh, now we get this nice little animation here. There's no longer the almost stairs looking aspect of it um, and the doors are still opening on their own. Let's go ahead and close this guy up. Uh, we get some more like lighting and screens that have actually been implemented. Uh, so once we get in here, this is where the majority of the changes actually took place. Uh, if you remember, we came in here, we had some uh, access and panels and stuff. Uh, now we actually have the full bathroom suite that's actually been implemented, looking pretty sharp. Uh, the weapons rack has been updated over here. Um, this thing cooperates a lot better. Your uh, screen and little workstation for uh, the co-pilot, uh, since he doesn't actually have a pilot seat. So if he's going to be sitting anywhere other than the turret, this is where he would be calling home. Animations are much more smooth now. Uh, in addition, we have our bunks, top and bottom. Uh, currently, neither one of them is actually functional. However, the turret is now working, which is great. A smooth animation of it coming down. And actually, I really enjoy this. As it goes up, you're going to notice it takes a little pause right in the middle uh, because the airlock closes before you actually get up into the ship. Uh, you get an idea of what turret gunning is now going to be like in the Vanguard. Um, it has really good visibility, top and forward. A little bit limited on the side based on how this has actually laid out with these crossbars, but you do get the informational screens, three of them. Uh, and depending on the movement speed of this thing, the visibility on this side should be fairly minimal, uh, I guess as far as a uh, issue is. But uh, ultimately, when you're when you're really trying to be an effective gunner, it comes down to coordinating effectively with your pilot. So uh, the visibility here is, I think, what's most important, and that's something that we do have right now. Let's go ahead and scoot back down into the ship. Do, 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 do. Takes a little second as we come out of it. There we go. All right, so now that we're in here, not a whole lot has changed in this section uh, other than the fact that this side got a rework. Before, it was identical on both sides. Um, now you can see it looks like we have additional access points over here. And that was one of my uh, questions when we looked at this initially was the usage of space and all the redundant systems that this ship has. It's going to need a lot of access panels. And it looks like they added some controls and stuff over here, which I think fits with what this ship is supposed to be effectively. Um, we get this little section here, this section here, some more ac accesses, and then again, we have all of these. So 135, uh, 264, and again, I still think this is going to be where we have a lot of the uh, redundant systems actually located. So in case you need to change like a capacitor or something, that option is going to be available right there. Um, and this is where the interior got another big rework is this used to be a little bit longer the runway up to the uh, seat and this looks a little bit more customized you get the stairs here and it really fits with what we would expect out of the front of this ship and we get to kind of scoot into the chair and get the updated inside profile of what it's going to be like flying the ship and you can see you the visibility is vastly activated. improved. Uh, the number of bars as compared to the retaliator asset we had before is severely, uh, significantly reduced. Uh, Invisibility is very, very much improved. Straight ahead is a lot better. Off to the sides you get a little bit better view of uh, action that's surrounding you. So you're going to be better off. Um, the key is with this ship, and I still think until we see otherwise that it's going to be very much a boom and zoom type fighter. Um, that visibility right in front of you for your strafing runs is what's most important, and I think you get enough of a window here that you're going to be fine. Um, though you could have those opportunities where you kind of lose track of a fighter for a second if they take the right angle uh, up one of these bars. 
Um, though if, you, if you're really paying attention and using your systems, you should be able to see that information fine. Uh, and then you do get the screens down here, which we'll have more interaction with at a later point. So there it is, not a huge number of changes, um, but a significant enough amount to make you realize that the ship is coming along and is advancing nicely. Um, one other thing to point out real quick, let's get out of this ship, would be down here, um, remember the whole middle section on the, these ships is the escape pod. Uh, and you can see the lines here where it's gonna be able to break away and shoot out the bottom. Uh, this is going to have utility as far as the uh, the other variants are as well because these doors will be opening up for the uh, torpedoes. Um, probably a different set of doors would be my guess, but on the Harbinger you're going to have a different set here. Um, but you can see that that's, that piece is starting to be implemented and it's going to have a little bit, uh, you know, give that finalized look to it. So uh, that's the Vanguard. Uh, if you've noticed any other changes, let me know because uh, that's the ones I was able to really see. There's a few cosmetic changes on the outside as well. Um, the nose gun got a little bit busted here <laughs> when I first was looking at it. Um, the, the barrels were at least in line here, but there was this open space. So I don't know if that's going to, how that asset is going to change. But uh, that's, the, that's the Vanguard. It's looking good, sitting a little bit crooked in hangar, but nice developments coming along. So uh, there you have that. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to have a Sabre video and a Freelancer video coming up pretty soon. So make sure you're sticking around for that content. Otherwise, have yourselves a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.